Welcome back, Bobcats, to part two. It's Cooper Hancock joined with... Bobby the Bobcat. And this part of the stage, we're going to preview some of our big senior events like Senior Awards and Legacy Night. Some college advice for graduating seniors from our teachers. And lastly, we'll go back in time and see how our seniors answered questions as freshmen. So without further ado, let's see what there is to expect at Senior Night. Senior Awards Night is coming back after two years online with the help of our counseling team. Counselors Megan Carraza and Gabby Yates share excitement and details. Uh, it's so much fun. It's our privilege to celebrate our students, uh, have as many students on stage uh, as possible, and to welcome local community scholarship organizations to give them. Now I'm actively trying to collect information of our students that have earned local um, and national scholarships so that we can make sure that we recognize those students that evening. Uh, we're also planning to recognize our students that are AP scholars as well as present various department and school-wide awards. Then we'll look at community service and there's also a Bobcat Spirit Award which is the student that encompasses everything that it means to be a Bobcat and that's given by uh, the principal. Because the PAC has uh, limited seating, we will send out a formal uh, invite via mail as well as an email notification to families. Families of recipients will receive both an email and mail tickets for attendance. Senior Portia Cannon looks forward to taking part in the tradition this year as a local scholarship recipient. Um, I'm really excited to be recognized for my time at Sage Creek and uh, the award I received it's really close to my heart and I'm proud of uh, achieving it. Uh, we look forward to having a wonderful evening with all of our students being recognized and we hope it adds to the excitement as um, the seniors wind down their time at Sage Creek High School. This event will occur on Tuesday, May 31st from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Congratulations to the class of 2022, and as always, Go Bobcats! This is Renata Rizok reporting for The Sage. I can't wait to clean house at another awards night. Sure, Cooper. But even if you aren't being recognized, your legacy will still be remembered. Up next, Nadia has us covered with Legacy Night. The end of the year for seniors is coming up, from the Genius Project Symposium, to Senior Field Trip and Grad Night, to even graduation itself. But what event has stayed under the radar? Legacy Night. But what is it? The way that it was sold to me or you know promoted was one last night for the senior class to just hang out, get together. Um, the program is usually designed by the seniors, so it can vary based on you know what that class prefers. Legacy Night is set up in collaboration with ASB and the senior class advisor. Originally English teacher Andrea Fett, but she's out on maternity leave, so government teacher Charity Fisher stepped up to assist in her place. She herself found the night to be very fulfilling back when she was a senior. Um, I remember that it was an opportunity for me to connect with students who had maybe graduated early and come back to kind of say goodbye. Um, I had conversations with people that I hadn't really talked to much since middle school. So it was just kind of a, for me, a closure piece of ending my high school experience. And I still remember actually some of those conversations from Legacy Night. The event is for all seniors and is more laid back compared to other events. So it's a great opportunity for students who don't attend many school events to come. Well, we've already got a few things that we're absolutely going to be able to do. So so, you know, decorating our caps, eating food together, you know, and signing yearbooks. Like those things are definitely gonna happen. But the great part of this event is it really does belong to the senior class. So students have reached out for different things that they want to do, whether it's make a speech or contribute maybe to a playlist or things like that. So I'm hoping seniors have really voiced what they want this night to look like and that it reflects all of class of 2022. If you have fun suggestions of what to do or want to give a speech, the ASP Instagram has information and links to all those Google Forms. Teachers have performed in the past, Mrs. Hunter has sang parody songs, for instance. Legacy Night will happen on June 3rd in the gym, and tickets are $10 in the ASP web store. This has been Nancy Wong Ball, and back to the anchors. Can't wait to look back at some memories from the past four years. Speaking of taking a look back, we have a time capsule to bring us back to freshman year. What do you both want to be in the future? Just an engineer, because, you know, my parents are Asian. Probably like an athlete. Professional dancer. <laughs> I'll be honest, I haven't decided yet. Lawyer. I don't know. Um, something like the forensic sciences or like a surgeon or something. How many Instagram followers do you have? Uh, I got you like 7,692, I think. <laughs> 231. 511. 50. About 137. Uh, like 100. 
20. What is one word to describe your personality? Funny? I don't know. I don't know, caring? Aubrey's personality <laughs> is fun. Okay, I'll say fun. Caring. Weird. Weird. Interesting. <laughs> Funny. I'm a special person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> I am sympathetic. There we go. And Jericho is just all around Amazing. sweet. She's sweet. 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 Well, you guys are so nice. What's your guys' favorite song? Currently, Bury a Friend by Billie Eilish. Supernova by Ansel Elgort. <laughs> Define Gravity from Wicked. I don't listen to enough music. I have too many. <laughs> oh, very friendly. Very friendly. Oh. Anything by Alec Benjamin. Overdose. Oh. Overdose. Overdose. Yeah, Overdose. Overdose and very friendly, I think. Superstition by Stevie Wonder. Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, probably either Lemon Boy by Cave Town or um, Best Friend by Rex Orange County. Uh, I would say mine is Fake Smile by Ariana Grande. That's a good question. Um, probably Guillotine by Peach Pit. In 10 years, where do you see yourselves living? Probably, here. Probably California somewhere. Maybe somewhere like east of LA or something. Okay, what colleges do you guys want to go to? Oh, Cal Poly, San Luis Obispo. I mean, anything that will take me. <laughs> and I've got nothing. Uh, UCLA. Why? Because it's a good college. Humboldt University, UC Davis, Norwich College. Any Stanford. art school? <laughs> no idea. Are you guys dating anyone right now? No. no. Yeah. Oh, sir. Right, the rest of us oh, are God. single. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, we're lonely. lonely. But that's fine. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're single, Pringles. Wow, I can't believe it was already four years ago, and now we're heading off to college. For all these years, graduates, don't fright, because our teachers have some advice for you on how to navigate college. Hey, seniors, are you ready to step in into college life? Well, here's our teachers with helpful advices regarding that topic. A piece of advice I would give to seniors going into college is to get really involved in stuff. For me, I, I had a great experience in college and a lot of it was not because of the classes I took, but all the extracurricular stuff I did. So as you enter college, I would find a student organization or group that you have a similar interest with mainly because you'll just meet people who like interest and you can hopefully form a really cool friendship and get going with some fun activities right out of the gate. Um, talk to people, get out there, join events and groups and have an open mind about the people that you're meeting. Treat college like a job. Show up at 8, show up at 9 o'clock, work till 4 or 5 o'clock, you know, in between classes go to the library, do your studying, but just focus on that time block and, and you'll be great, you'll do fine. My advice is take classes within your ability level. It's all about finding a balance because it, like, it's great to get involved, but if you do too much, then you're gonna be all stress and no joy. Seniors entering to college, I would just say enjoy it. Congratulations, you worked hard to get there and uh, you're going to a place that's going to be very new and very different, but you're going to find good opportunities there, so just enjoy it. Have a really good time, but also don't screw up. Good luck, seniors, and enjoy your time in college. This has been Tamiris Kumar and Leo Itel. Now back to the anchors. Thank you. I definitely needed that. And that officially wraps up our special show for this week. Like always, make sure to follow the Sage publication on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and also make sure to check out our new articles. Signing off for the last time, this has been Cooper Hancock. And this has been Lulu Horn. Thank you for watching. <laughs>